How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Many Central called us. To... We were worried about you. I bet you were. Seriously. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Are you certain you can go back to work, sir? I've got to go. I wish you a productive and successful day. in your crap. Wait, don't I know you? Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Break point. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. And then no again, no more one of us minutes. might have a chance. You won't even know us. Look at the radiologists. Welcome, Mr. Nolan. You're expected on floor two. I'll talk to you later. Uh, who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, what's the emergency? I'll go talk to Steve first. Richard! Come on, let's take a look at you. You, you look good. You should go to hospital more often. But rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. What is Troy doing here? Why did Frank employ him? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Carrie, could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. Y you're not splitting up, are you? What makes you think that? Well, nothing. Just a... Uh... Just a what? 
What makes you think that, Steve? Did Tracy tell you something? Well, Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight, it happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Look, Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for her? I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents, she's not at the hospital. Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. She bought a bot. One of those base five things. Base five? What'd she buy that for? To annoy me, probably. The bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Just show it to me. Okay. That's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Richard? I'm ready. There's Richard. Hey, all good? World. Hey. In Berlin, there's been yet another bomb. Richard, come in. Man, what have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. You have a family. You're talking as if I were on death's door, Frank. I'm fine. You should take a step back. Really. Don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Apologies. Let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. Uh-huh. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Am I fired? You can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would like to have you on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. You're kicking me out. I can't believe it. Look, you've done a lot for The Voice, and we really want to hold on to you. Oh, come on. But your column... There's been criticism. So what? I'm a journalist, Frank, not a stenographer. You were a journalist, and a damn good one. And what am I now? You've turned into a man with an agenda. But someone has to write about these things. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. <sighs> I understand. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand. Fine. Got it. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey. We're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do. Wow, what's made you so peeved? Hey, what's up? Something happened? 
Did Frank put you on some crappy job? No. What then? What happened? I'm fired. What? Thrown out. Yeah. Why? You'll have to ask Frank. Some nonsense. A directive from the management. I'm out. But with a short-term freelance contract. That's unbelievable. You should get a lawyer. Ah, oh, come on. So, you have to clear your desk now? Your new colleague Troy will be sitting there tomorrow. Frank is still letting me run around here a bit, though. I can still use the network. Generous, right? How's the memory chip coming along? Oh, yeah. It's done. And? What's on it? Show me. Okay, fine. That's okay. That would be okay. Damn, almost got it. You see him? What is that idiot doing in my apartment? It looks like he's helping Tracy Packer things. He's speaking to my boy. I'll kill him, Steve. I swear to you, I'll end his life. Who is he? Richard. You don't even know what Tracy has to do with him. He could just be helping her move. Helping her move? It's obvious what's going on. Tracy ran off with this... this... And James. She took James, too. I have to know who that is. I have to get my boy back. You gotta help me, Steve. What? Identify him? Sure. I can try. Do a facial comparison. Send it through the database. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all? He must have left some trace in the cloud. Maybe he's a hacker. What about his movements? I can't check that. Maybe we can. I don't really like it, but... Move scan. We'll check his movement profile and find out who he is. Richard, move scan is a police database. We'll find him that way. Didn't you write a huge article about that? I know, Steve, but this is about my boy. We just need access. That's illegal. And anyway, how are you going to get clearance? I'll take care of that. There's sources out there. Okay, Steve. Thanks for now. I have to go. I'll call you. Boys are in the back if you need anything. No way. Long time no see, man. You need something? Hmm, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend? Jace? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. Uh, he's a little busy right now, man, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan, for some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name. What for? I like to know who I'm doing business with. Okay, fine. Richard. 
Mm-hmm. Just Richard... Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. Exactly. You got a problem with that? No. But you do. Get him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax, I just... Wanna... Listen to me, cop. Next time you want to pretend to buy, pick another fake name. I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him.